gentlemen, boys and girls, step right up. The time has come to witness serial number one, the 2023 Mako 700. You've heard of the Sand Spider 490, the little 490. This is the Black Widow 700, the world's most powerful two-stroke. It'll awaken the Kraken, the Megalodon of dirt bikes. It'll, it'll, it'll rip your house off the foundation. Sound the horn. Awaken the two-stroke monster. Power. Guys, we're looking at about it's exact exactly 60.16 rear wheel horsepower. I want to put in I want to put that in perspective. At the crank, that's about 70 at the crank. 60.16 horsepower. Look at the fuel to air, it's linear, it's the, perfect. The fuel to air mixture is absolutely perfect. And that's uh the manic mechanic. Jeff Castine and the Wizard have been working on this. Uh they've run 20 different dyno runs. When the bike came to us, it was very fat. It was a 195 main jet. 192. 192. Yep. And we dropped it to 182. Yep. And then I went right from there to 175 because I was still too rich. And then it was pretty good. And I said, let's let's put it on the dyno and put a sniff, do a sniff test to it. And that's what we've been doing. And this is what we come up with. After the 175, you went to a 170, and we ran it, and it and it was uh, it was pretty good. Pretty good. But what we thought. Perhaps it could go a little bigger on the main because we were hoping to get more than 60 rear wheel horsepower. We went up to oh, 172. Too cool. It was too rich. So you went back to let's a 168. Go, yeah. yeah, let's go. We went a little more rich and it, it lost a half a horse. Then we said, let's go a little lean. We lost, lost a half a horse. So we're back to the 170. 170. So I think it's like seven or eight different, six or nine different jetting changes. <laughs> In any, any event, 60.16. I want to put this into perspective, okay? All you keyboard warriors out there and haters, uh, 70 horse of the crank is rock solid. I want to put that in perspective by showing you what a 2022 CRF 450 Works Edition and a my personal CR500 did on the dyno uh, when it was stock. <laughs> the grass over each other so you can see what we're talking about. I just want to put it in perspective here. The red line, that's the Mako at 60 rear wheel horsepower. The blue line is a Sierra 450 mine at 51.66. And the 52.22 green line is my 500. 60.16 rear wheel horsepower versus my 500 at 52 and the 450 at 51. That's pretty remarkable. So I was talking to Toby Opperman, who's the Mako guru in the US here, and these things, Tom Morgan, you can send it to Tom Morgan, this motor, or uh, Keith Peterson, or you know, Malara Race Engineering. Stock, these are set up, this, this is set up as an enduro bike, right? So it's a fairly mild state of tune. The carb that's on here right now is a 41 millimeter Kian. The, um, the runs where they're pulling more horsepower, they're putting a bing on it, a big bing. I think it was a 45 millimeter Bing Gold, I think is what they called it, yep. and a bigger pipe. And you can do some porting. This is in stock right out of the box, 60.16 rear wheel horsepower. The jetting is spot on. It could not be any more perfect than it is for this altitude and this weather. And this thing was fast even when the jetting was off. It felt faster than a CR500 probably, well, because it was. It was putting down like 55 horse with the jetting off. Um, the first time I rode it, the jetting was real fat. They send them, they send up, they send these out really rich to err on the side of caution so the thing doesn't end up getting seized by uh, somebody who doesn't understand how to jet for different conditions. So the 192 jet it came with would, would might be something that would work for ice racing when it's super cold and uh, 
God knows that these are kick-ass ice racing machines. We had 97 miles per hour on, on the odom odometer, and I'm sure it'll do that. You can change the gearing. I'm pretty sure this thing would beat the KTM 495 record of 100 and, what was it 123 miles an hour, 126. Yeah, yeah. We have nothing to lose or, or, or gain from this. We're not going to be a Mako importer or anything like that. Um, but we didn't want to report the 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 55 horsepower until we were sure the thing was jetted right and that the timing was right. And thanks to the wizard and the manic mechanic, uh, they got it dialed perfectly. We've done 20 dyno runs on it. A bunch of them in the 59 range. Uh, when it was jetted too fat, it was in the 55 range. But like I said, it just wouldn't rev out. But it still felt like, I mean, if you watch the earlier videos on this, it was breaking up a little bit. But it's super clean now. I can't wait to get, take this thing for a rip now. So everybody focuses on horsepower. But really what moves the bike is the torque. This thing's putting down 47 foot-pound of torque at the rear wheel. I want to put that in perspective. My 22 Sierra 450 put down 32 which is, what is that, 15 pounds less? This is basically 50% more torque than a 450. That's why when I got on that brand new works edition that we're raffling off and, and, and rode it the other day, it uh, up and down the, the, the driveway and up the road here, it felt like it had no power at all. Smooth, it felt smooth and easy. Yeah. It smelled, felt like it was something wrong with it. Like yeah. the new 450 felt like, like it was at, at, like something was wrong with it or it felt like I was on a 250, had no power compared to this because this has just about to, oh, yeah. oh, oh, just under 50 percent more torque than a brand new 450 and what about my 500 so my 500 put put down 42 foot pound of torque which is pretty substantial compared to the uh, um 450 four stroke my 2022 works edition put down 32.49 so the 450 is putting down 32 torque the 500 is putting down 42 and the 700 is putting down 47, which is, well, 32, that's 15 pounds more. And half of 32 is, is what, 16? Yeah. So it's 50%, 45%, roughly, I have to break out a calculator, 45% more torque than a new forward. People think four strokes have more torque. Why is it that a two stroke has more torque? I kind of know the answer, but I want to hear what you, you guys have to say. Well, this thing's got a giant crankshaft and piston, which, you know, has mass and it creates torque. And it's also, Firing on every well, revolution, yeah, right? Where the four stroke, every four strokes every other, yeah. So you get a power stroke. Is you need four times four revolutions before it no, makes a power. So, so is that is that partially why it has more torque in your opinion? Well, I know the the bigger the motors and the bigger the pistons and the cranks and whatnot, the more weight makes more crank. Yeah, but, yeah. But yeah, a, a, a four stroke is intake and compression at the same stroke. I mean, intake compression and then. The same stroke as power and exhaust, so it's every other. Every other, every other stroke is uh, yeah. power on a four-stroke. Well, Wiz, you've ridden more 500s probably than anybody on the planet besides me. Yeah. Um, and in fact, you've probably ridden every one. I've actually you might have ridden as many as that. You rode all the ones I rode here. Even you tuned it, them all. Even when it was jetted, rich, rich, rich. I could tell how st much, much more stronger in the bar, in the mid. Strong as hell until it got to it. So you're stronger. feeling the torque. You're feeling the torque. So then I jetted it and leaned out, leaned out the main, and then it, you could really feel how strong it is in the it torque. And that was when you were running like a 175 or, or so. You haven't actually ridden yeah. it with the 170 in it, have you? Yes, I have. Oh yeah. 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 Was the timing right Just on today. it? Just yeah. today. Yeah. What'd you think? I haven't ridden it. Sick. It was sick. I can't wait to take it yeah. for a rip. I'm gonna yeah. burn fourth this rear tire up. Coming up on me. <laughs> yeah. In fourth gear, and this thing's probably what 60 miles an hour. Yes, I went. I went. I over. I went seventy-seven or seventy-eight on it at one point. But yeah, I was going probably sixty miles. How'd you know how fast you're going? Because um, because it comes. It's on the tap. Oh, yeah. That's got but a speedometer. It was in, it was in kilometers, and we 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 uh, we figured out what you, you said. It, you said it. Oh, yeah, okay. It was cool. One hundred and eight. One hundred and eight uh, kilometers. How much? How fast is that? It's like seventy-seven. And you said I was going faster than that when I wrote it. You were. <laughs> so I was doing what eighty something. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know, but if I'll do ninety-seven, that's yeah. pretty remarkable. We should yeah. get we should get one of them uh, dyno. Uh, I mean, uh, what do you call it? Speedometer S things that uh, uh, speed. Just a speedometer. So um, no, no, it has a it no, has not a speedometer, but a uh, GPS. No, no, what do the cops use? Oh, speed or oh. Ra uh, radar. Uh, we should get a, we should get a ra radar. Let's, let's order a radar gun yeah. and. Uh, Run it with this gearing, see what she'll do, and then maybe gear it up, see if we can set the the the, the two-stroke world record at 123. <laughs>
I, I bet yeah, you it'll do it the, exactly yeah. the way it is. Put it, we'll put street tires on it. Oh, something yeah, like, change the front tire. Wheels. Yep, so some nice uh, uh, speed rated ones. Or at least street tires, and then it would be we, we're, solid. They, they sell Supermoto tires from yeah. these at Kostler in, in Germany. So um, I actually messaged them the other day, and, and they told me that the KTM wheels will fit. Yeah. So I told Kyle and, and Junior, order a set of KTM wheels. I guess we got to modify one of the spaces, put the bolt right on here. Okay. Now that we're a, a gas gas KTM group together, we can we can get we can get all the KTM parts we want. Maybe add a steering damper. Steering damper. Yeah, we'll yeah. tighten the steering head bearings up. Yeah, maybe maybe <laughs> maybe lower the shock a little bit in the rear to to. Uh, yeah, make it more stable. Yep. Let's take this baby out and rip it. Yeah. Well, guys, thanks for being patient. Uh, this is one of exactly 71 motorcycles that we're working on right now because I went over the, the chart with, with Kyle this morning. We have 71 bikes in production, and this isn't one that's going up for sale, so it wasn't a super priority to get it done. Thanks for being patient. I know one of you guys, you guys were all like, hey, get us a number, get us a number. Well, we wanted to get the, the right number. we got to get and, work and done, too. Yeah, we yeah. also, yeah, this isn't, this isn't a paying job. This is uh, more, more for fun. I love working on brand-new bikes like this, we got to... You got plenty of, you've been rolling new, brand new gas gases in the showroom every, every yeah. hour, it seems yeah, like. that was nice. That so was nice. we sold 11 gas gases the first week, which was great. We're after a good start. If you want to buy one, give Junior a call at 860-454-7024 while we still have them because we sold out of a few models already. Uh, alloc we, our allocation, our initial allocation of the bikes uh, only had so many per model of 17 models. A lot of them sold out. So we're going to bolt the seat and tank up and, and send it. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. we got some more interesting dyno stuff coming your way. And uh, I think the Gas Gas 300 is up next, right? Before we do the, the BRC 500 kit on it? Right. We're, we're going to do it. Yeah. Yeah, whenever you're ready. You want to do that today? or? Yeah. All right, so stay tuned. We're going to do the, the Gas Gas 300, hopefully we're gonna today. We're going to put a tire on. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, God bless United States of America.